I have a core fundamental belief that when you give people education, they can actually make the right choice for themselves because they know why things have a better chance of helping them or might actually not be more beneficial based on their values and their lifestyle. And this is where I think people really miss it because they try certain types of foods or tactics that actually just won't apply to their lifestyle and their culture, or they try exercises that they just don't inherently like. And so what I wanna do is I wanna provide the best information and give you the mindset tools that are gonna allow you to implement these strategies to become a habit that is who you are and a part of your identity. Take a look into the NEM series and hear how I dive into so many different topics. I make sure we cover all the macronutrients and how it might help you. Number one mistake that is made across the nation, supporters and enzymes. So basically, not only are we talking about muscle, we dive into the different eating strategies. I'll talk later about the preferential energy type, depending on your goals. Uh, so one cream, one sugar. So again, reducing the calories there. And now he's at two, right under 2000 calories and he feels more satiated and numb. We even talk about the challenges around research versus the holistic approach. You're finding answers a bit quicker because you're not gonna wait for random control st studies. Within the exercise, I make sure that we fully understand how strength can help us. And all movements in sport in life become more efficient. You actually are required to eat more because your body has just a better furnace, a better engine. The fundamental movement patterns of the body. is the first fundamental movement, you know, right when we're born. It's the first thing that we do. Squat, hinge, push, pull, and then plank or core stability. The type of conditioning intensities. The harder ones, which is sprint, uh, kind of power intervals. That's the Within the mindset series, I make sure we understand how to create habits. We can utilize this strategy to work off of habits that are good. Recognize all the challenges that we're gonna to need to overcome. What's beneath that is the question though. You have you, to become a bit more objective. To better illustrate different mindsets and philosophies around handling our emotions. Entry. Uh, basically the philosophy of life to maximize positive emotions and reduce negative emotions, help individuals. And I bring on two different guest speakers, including Jason Brooks, sports psychologist. So I have this idea in my mind, and I know in time and space, when that sort of distracting, resistance-based thought will occur. And Laura Cicerelli, who is currently finishing up her doctoral program in clinical psychology to talk about behavior modification. I mean, I think there are a lot of challenges that come with like making changes in your behavior because a lot of times like you've been doing the same thing for a number of years. Over the course of 12 weeks, we dive into all the foundation of nutrition, exercise and mindset. Could you imagine a day where you look at your food and you know exactly what it is. You don't even need a nap tracker or anything. And you feel empowered by that decision because everything has a purpose in what it does for you and you enjoy it. Or maybe you go out to dinner that night and you think, I'm not afraid of what I'm gonna eat because I know how this is gonna benefit me. Or you go to do your exercise and you know all of the intention of every movement that you're doing is serving your whole and your mindset is stronger than ever. You're learning how to create new habits and getting rid of the ones that you don't want. This is why the NEM series is so powerful because I believe that education is empowerment. So take the power into your own hands and invest in your own health long-term.